Hey, 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 everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome back. Update on the tiny cabin here. I've been working my butt off. The interior is finished. I can't wait to show you guys this. Check out what I've got done on the outside here, too. This is kind of neat. That's my propane hookup. The propane stove is on the outside. And I got something real nice in the garage here. I don't know if the light's going to show this very well or not. This is going to be literally the icing on the cake. Check this stuff out. How nice is that? Red metal roofing. We are just waiting on the ridge vent, which would be here probably in three or four days. And I'm going to get the roof on the top of this bad boy here. And it's going to be finished with the windows. Oh my, we have curtains in there and everything else. You guys got to see the inside of this. I'm pretty proud of this. This thing's coming come along quite well, looking quite good. I also, under the edge on the outside here, I'm going to show you, see if you can see it on the camera. There's a plug up there. If you can see that or not. You can see the propane line. You can actually see I put a receptacle there. What I'm going to do is shore power. If I'm at a campground or want to run off my power box or anything, I just plug an extension cord to that and I'll show you what I did on the inside. Let's go check this thing out. It's looking pretty freaking good. When you see it here, trim is done. That's all. I finished it. It's absolutely finished. I just have to stain it. But look in here. What do we got, guys? Holy crap. Check this out. How nice is that looking? futon bed as you guys can see the futon bed is in curtains are done uh, I've got new curtains on both sides and this bed it's a six inch mattress so it's actually really comfortable uh, bought it through Walmart $79 special it's under the comforter here you can see and it's actually got a real futon mattress on it now so and what I did is there's a piece of plywood underneath slide out. I'm not even going to bother to show you. You can understand, but it's going to slide out come all the way almost over to the stove here. And this is all bed area. So it's actually a good size bed in here. It's, it's bigger than a double bed. Got the loft done. <laughs> I call loft. It's storage area up there. Which is going to be a nice little spot to store things. But again, that's all done. Talk about electrical system, I guess. It's all in here. You can see my lights. This is an LED light. There's three different settings as far as color, isn't that cool? Warm white, cold white, and then it's like a medium. The warm white is nice. They're both adjustable to that. And the best part, you can dim these. Isn't that neat? Turn the dimmer switch down. You can actually dim them, so. And what I did over on the wall over here I'll show you guys actually how I'll show you guys how I actually wired all this up when I did in here. It's pretty neat, nice setup. Everything's in. My power bank. Remember, I built my power box. My power queen. Uh, I got that free battery from those guys, and I did a I built a homemade power box. Well, look what's under here, down in my cabinets. There's my power queen box with a fuse. This is a 10 amp fuse and this is what's feeding everything. Basically what I did, and by the way I guess I'll show this. I'm kind of all over the place. Sorry guys. Cabinet doors are all down and in. The only thing we got to get is magnetic door closure things. Sto uh, stove is installed and it is functional. It's working great. We've already fired it up and tested it. So this thing is so close to being ready to use now. Once the roof is on, it's ready to fly. I got to get it on the trailer, get some tie downs on it. We're going to start using this. What I did under here, you guys can see, that's my inverter. This is a master power switch and this is an inverter of 1500 watt. So if I turn this switch on the inverter, it turns this on. This power bar is powered up. What I can also do is where this is plugged into the inverter up here, you see this black cord? This is attached and this is a good quality cord. It's actually a snowblower electric start cord. This is what's going outside and this would be my shore power if I want to run power from outside. Again, if I want to use my, my other all powers power box. 
or if we happen to go to a campground that's got you know service sites sometimes i'm not going to need service sites but sometimes all i got so anyway i can just simply plug the power bar cord the white one either into the inverter and turn it on which is on now or i can run it offshore power here's something else that's cool watch this he said let there be light and there was haha <laughs> i got a light bar under here this is all hand operated and if i hold my hand under it it dims right down how cool is that eh go like that it shuts off it's on hold your hand there again how nice is that for a counter pretty neat eh plywood is all this is for now i got a piece of live edge pine a friend of mine's giving me but for now it's going to take it a while to dry out till i can use it so i put this in temporary counter and i gotta say it didn't come out too bad for a piece of freaking plywood love the cupboards and all that the way these cabinet doors come out uh, i showed in the other video and i went on a rant i didn't really talk much about these cabinet doors this is the tongue and groove pine cut down this is what they call pickwick in the middle and what i did is the way the groove is on the tongue and groove i got looking at that when i picked up a piece of this and started putting pine and I thought to myself, man, the width of that looks so close to what that Pickwick stuff would be. So I did. So I bought that. So this is very thin. This is only super thin here. And this is your, your standard three quarter, right? I mean, on the inside, this is the rougher side of the Pickwick. So it made a beautiful door on the cheap and they're light. They don't weigh anything, which is nice. Even better, we didn't have any hardware. Um, facebook marketplace went and found at uh, literally five minutes from here all these hinges we got enough to, we, extra ones too got all the hinges and handles you know for 20 bucks and they're nice looking door handles so again how nice is that i had to have cabinets in this thing and i want to get magnetic door things to hold them so when we're traveling nothing's falling around but what we're going to do anyway when we're traveling normally in this, this will be in the bed position. The uh, futon thing will be pulled out. Anything of any value would be on top of that or wrapped up or whatever, right? So stuff doesn't bounce around and all that. Uh, kitchen table is done. I'll show you guys this too. Then I'm going to show you something really neat that I put in here. We got the pipe kit. Just like everybody gets for tables like you have in an RV, right? And watch this. I'll show you. Yeah, time to put the table up. This will be the dining area. I thought that came out pretty good. How nice is that, right? There's your table. And then when you want a chair, when you need to sit on something, boom, done. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Check that out. Isn't that cool? Pretty proud of this, how this came out. Table, nice little, it's almost like a picnic table kind of style, but and it's quite comfortable too. And everything tucks out of the way when you don't need it. But you know what? It's big enough in here. So you could actually leave this out, unless this cover's not wide open, watch. And close this one. There we go. Look how much room is here. Like, I can walk around. This place is what blows my mind. This is only a small building. But we can actually leave it like that in the daytime if we wanted to. I think I'm cutting my head off. That's the best part of this, is this is only a small building. But it shows on camera, like a big building. It's 10 feet long inside. It's under six feet up here, and then it goes in and cut out. And it's kind of neat that everybody that walks by thinks that it's going on my truck. We've had more people stop and comment on this. They love it. And they all think it's going on my truck as a truck camper. I tell them, you know, it's 10 feet long. A truck's a six foot six box. That would look kind of funny. So it's going on the utility trailer. But anyways, yeah, we got the table all established. We're going to get a tablecloth and stuff for it. Sorry for just being all over the place, guys, with this little demo. A couple more things to show you. Um... Well, I'm going to move the table, and i got a couple more things to show you. Easy as that, right? Not nice. And you just fold this under. Table's out of the way. Um, my power bank. You guys remember I built the power box in the video. Well, I needed something in here to run all my stuff off. So what I did was put this in. And this is the same piece of birch plywood that was in the power box that I built, right? And it's actually showing me what's going on here with everything. Pretty neat. Here's the temperature inside and outside. I had heat on just for a few minutes in here to warm it up before we come in. I've got a thermometer with all that with a remote. But you guys want to see something? My favorite thing of this whole camper? Kitchen sink. How nice is that? It's actually a bar sink we got off Amazon cheap. But you got to see what I did under here. And this is where, this is where it's kind of freaking cool, I think. Got two tanks under here. 
This is a water jug, and this will not be under here when we're transporting anything because I know everybody, it's right next to the inverter. This is going to be 20 liters of potable water. Over here, this is basically going to be a gray water. I guess you're going to call it a bucket. There's even a trap that I can put on that little sink. Came with a little trap. What I've got in this blue bucket is a submersible 12 volt pump that is actually a bilge pump for a boat that I got at Princess Auto for 10 or 12 bucks. You got to see this to believe it. See this switch number here? How's that? <laughs> Honest to God, how's that? A little water pressure. Look how fast this sink's filling up. Can it get any better than that? I know it's only cold water, but hey man, we got water on tap in here and this is fully potable water. So the way I've got this thing set up, I'm going to have a coffee maker. We're not going to rough it in this. We're going to enjoy it. I've roughed it. I enjoy it in different ways to do this stuff. But we're going to have a coffee maker. We're going to have a toaster. We get a propane friggin' stove, right, with the oven. And this oven's in beautiful shape. It's all cleaned up. Even come with a roaster pan, the broiler. Broiler pan's even in the bottom of this thing still. Um, I got it all plumbed in proper. It's now a solid copper flared off of here. Run out to the front, run to a regulator. It's all bought through a local propane supply place. Buddy thought it was a good setup, but yeah, how cool is that? And it's even got a little plug. And it drains into the white bucket down there, right? Even better, this little sink comes with a little strainer basket. So any food and everything, it doesn't really have to go down in there if you're washing dishes. But how nice will that be? I just totally like silly design Amazon stuff. It doesn't totally drain out. A little bit of water stays in here, the way they made this lip in here. No, it didn't. That's got to be tightened down. That's all that is. I didn't tighten that down yet. That'll pull that down and more. Anyways, it's got a little basket in here and all that. And... Uh, how many mini portable cabins like this you see with running water in them, so. Pretty proud of this place. Again, I'm not gonna do much longer video here today. Uh, it's gonna be so nice to get this thing, you know, on the road here soon. And uh, goal, hopefully someday, maybe, is to get a dedicated trailer to put this thing on so we don't have to actually, you know, slide it on and off and all that, the five by 10. and. Uh, but again, check it out in here, guys. I'm pretty proud of this thing. It's looking friggin' cheery, right? I think, anyway. Pretty cool, eh? For something small, it looks big in here. Oh, yeah, screens on the windows. Never showed you these. That's a frame. This is all window screen here. And guess what else we got, guys? Extended handles. Anybody that saw the last video and there's a bunch of tips and that you can buy them. Well, we did get them. These are actually longer than we needed, but they still do the job. And uh, but you can see I just went in with a screw here to hold it because you can't see it. Everything's covered with the curtains. But the uh, three-quarter pine screen on the inside, sandwiched on. So it basically trims it off nice too, right? It's just like window trim. So there's one last thing that looks kind of cool in here that I need to show you guys, I guess. Turn that off. Turn those off, because this is the way I wired this up. This is my first switch is my lights. This is my power port over there, my power bank, and this is the pump, number three. I know water switches, blah, blah. These are electrical, these are a waterproof switch, and this is only 12 volt anyway. But anyway, I'm gonna show you one last thing I did. Turn that off, the battery bank's still on. Well, this little remote control, what's this for? Check these guys out. Let's have a look. This is kind of cool. How is that? How cool is that? And it's hard to see right now in the daytime in here because of the GoPro. But she's all lit right up. All the way around with LEDs. Isn't that nice? The whole thing. That's all LED. There's eight different patterns to what these things will do. But they're just in here as an accent light. They go all the way around, all the way right down to the corner, and they start here at the power bank, right? There's eight settings on what these things can do with this remote. And I'm not going to bore you guys and show you all of them, but you know what? $12 on Amazon for these lights. There were 66 feet of these things, and I had to cut probably 10 feet off when I was done. They were too long to put in here, so pretty crazy. 
again what you get in crazy old amazon for 66 bucks they uh because they started here i went up across come down the center back up the center and then down this side all the way around and that's what gave me the whole run that's how i got to do it and go all the way around and still have light to spare so i think it's a pretty cool little add-on to this place i again you can't tell that much in the daytime but they look so much better at night so it'd be kind of cool to lay back in here and have just even a little bit of a night light at night you know if you're camping somewhere keep them on super dim and all that and i'll just make it so cozy so anyways i think enough of this video for now brutal weather coming later today it's going to snow it's going to start here pretty soon it's going to start snowing and it's going to change over it's going to pour rain tonight we got a couple inches of rain coming overnight tonight so not looking forward to that but it is what it is right it's only march we're in the maritime so it gets pretty crazier sometimes in march as far as finishing this yes the inside is absolutely 100 percent done now all the trim is done there's nothing not done uh what i do have to do is plumb heat in somehow for my diesel heater but he's asking if i was going to put a wood stove now we got a nice little diesel heater it's pretty much brand new i've used it one trip my truck tent camping thing and we're going to put the diesel heater outside and plumb it in but i just i've got to drill a hole and it's going to be under the bed probably down here um to port the heat in through that way so uh i gotta find the right fitting to come in i'm trying to come up with a piece of pipe or something they gave me a little wall mount thing that came with the heater but it's too short it's only got about a two inch lip on it and this wall is about three inches thick total with the pine and with the board on the outside the plywood and all that so uh but i'll basically put the heater on the outside and pump the heat in under the bed and that way it'll keep it a whole lot warmer in here especially when we're sleeping right this thing is so easy to heat even with just a little electric heater right now it uh, it's really easy to heat and it holds the heat quite well too so anyways yeah it's pretty much done other than diesel heater and then i have to get it on the trailer and put some tie down put some eye bolts in the corners and probably the back which will be the front um, this end here i'll probably have two in each corner i'll have them on the front on the side and then i'll have a couple in the back so i'm going to use turnbuckles that you can adjust down the big thing that's threaded in both ends hook them on hook them on to my tie downs my trailer crank her down but I do hope again someday maybe we can get a dedicated trailer to put this on. That way we don't have to move it on and off of it. Because I don't think that's going to be a real fun procedure. But it's part of what I built here. So Again, metal roof time will be Tuesday or Wednesday probably next week. It's Saturday right now. And uh, I'll show a video once this thing is totally done. And it's going to look pretty freaking good. Like, subscribe, and share and all that. And uh, if nothing else, live simply, remain grateful. We'll talk to you soon.